we love a story. Today we've got something really special to show you. The property is steeped in history and has a wealth of character and charm. Now Tiger's Head is an iconic Grade 2 listed property in Tunbridge, which is well loved in the area for its atmosphere and its charm, not to mention the tiger who oversees Church Lane in the upper window. Now why Tiger's Head? Well, no one seems to know. What we do know is that the previous owner was a colourful character and placed a small red carved tiger's head on the front of the house. Now perhaps it was done in jest, we don't know, as close by on the high street used to be a pub called the Red Lion. Being in such close proximity to the parish church as guild houses were, Tiger's Head is much documented in photos and prints telling the history of the house and the lane, and it offers such a picturesque scene as you can see. Now, when the current owners acquired the property, it had been in the same family for 120 years. It was originally sold at auction at the Rose and Crown just down the road in June 1890, where the particulars quaintly described uh, the property as a substantially built freehold dwelling house with shop, listing the accommodations, including six bedrooms, a parlour, sculleries, larders, coppers and stoves. I guess not much has changed on how we describe properties these days. However, it then changed hands again 120 years later to the day. So come with me and let's go and take a look. You enter into this gorgeous reception hall which has brick flooring, exposed timbers, stairs to first floor and natural light via the front window. There are two doors leading to these lovely reception rooms. They both connect in a open plan but also offer separation through the pocket sliding doors. Both rooms have a wealth of character with feature fireplaces, beautiful leaded windows, exposed timbers. And this room here has a gorgeous single nook fireplace and overlooks the rear garden. There is plenty of character and charm throughout and a door to this beautiful, recently installed kitchen. Now the kitchen is in keeping with the property's character and has wooden worktops and a butler sink. There's an oven with gas hob and extractor over and space for a table and chairs. The vaulted ceiling is simply beautiful and allows a lot of natural light for both sides as well as the window to the rear. And there is a doorway through to this very useful rear lobby, which in turn gives access out onto the garden and a utility cloakroom. To the first floor, there is a lovely landing with a lovely window to the side and beautiful wooden doors giving access to two bedrooms. This is the master suite and it is a stunning room, very regal in appearance. There's plenty of natural light with a window to the front, as well as the side where the tiger's head overlooks Church Lane. There are exposed timbers. And there is a doorway through to a study or however you want to use it with a beautiful aspect over the church. This room could even be a dressing room as there is a door through to an ensuite shower which has a WC, bidet, wash hand basin and a shower cubicle. Now bedroom two is accessed off the landing and has a lovely aspect over the garden and gives access to a stunning ensuite with much character. There's a Velux window to the rear, WC wash hand basin and a shower cubicle. And the second floor is approached via a wooden staircase which turns and gives access to a beautiful L-shaped room. Now the old particulars stated that this was once three bedrooms, but today it is a beautiful suite with plenty of natural light, down lighters, and there is much character in the whole room, including a partially vaulted ceiling, as well as little recessed areas which are ideal for dressing tables. It also gives access to this lovely ensuite shower room. Now outside, there is as much charm in the rear garden with a seating area, plenty of mature trees, shrubs and plants, and it is partially walled to the very rear. There is also an area of lawn and a log store. And outside to the rear, there is as much character on the outside as there is on the inn, as you can see from both the front and rear. 
The property also benefits from its own private parking space, which has been bought separately, as parking is a rare commodity in such a central location. The parking space is a short walk and provides an undercroft area to park a single vehicle in a secure location. So in conclusion, if you were looking for a stunning period property, which dates back to the 1400s, that the owners have spent so much time and effort putting back the charm and character that the property once had, then look no further. The property is centrally located, not just for the town, but also for the station. It's perfectly positioned for the church, as well as all the other things that surround it. So if you're looking for something simply extraordinary that is seldom found on the open market, then contact us on the details that follow.